welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's car boot haul video. Snowed today. It snowed in Bristol. Um, I woke up and I thought, hmm, snow, gonna go anyway. Glad I did. You'll see why in a minute, but very, very glad I did. It's a small haul. It's a small but perfectly formed haul. I'm very pleased with it. I didn't get a bag. Hang on. You'd think by now I'd know what I need to start the video, wouldn't you? So, first purchase of the day were these two pairs of Clark's shoes. These are the lady who, she's there every week. Um, she doesn't always have shoes though. And she had a large selection of shoes this morning. They're all in quite large sizes. I think these are an eight, said she, peering hopelessly over the top of her specs. Why is there no size in these shoes? Come on, Clarks, what are you playing at? There are 7E, 7E. So there's a pair of leather loafers. At least I think they're leather. Wide fit leather loafers and a pair of Clark's Cloud Steppers. And she wanted £5 each, but she said, oh, if you buy two, you can have them £4 each. So I said, okay, I'll have those two. So I've got the Cloud Steppers and the loafers, £4 a pair. Now, it's funny, I go to car boots, get the car boot head on, I'm like, I'm not paying more than 50p for anything, but actually, if I saw those in a charity shop marked at 3 99 I'd have run to the till with them. So I've got to sometimes adjust my thinking to go, you know, it's a good price. Just because you're in a barn doesn't mean it has to be 50p. I've got a mark on my glasses, honestly. Don't start the video until you're sure you're ready to start the video, Carla. Right, good old-fashioned huff on the glasses and I'm ready to go now. I paid 20p each for these two mugs. They are only next home, but I thought they were nice because they are star signs. So I've got Leo and Taurus. Leo is me, Taurus, I don't know. But they were only 20p each. I can't find any of these in completed or sold, so they're not going to be a huge money spinner, but they're quite nice designs and they were 20p each. And I paid 50p for this, and I'm not sure what it is. It's like a mug, but it has no handle. This is supposed to be a toothbrush holder. Perhaps it's got dogs all over it, and it's by Millie Green. And I bought it because I liked it. I thought it was lovely. But I'm honestly not sure what it's meant to be. Is it? Maybe it is a toothbrush holder. Who knows? Can you get your head out of the bag? Apparently, you can keep dogs in bags if you try hard enough. You're not meant to be in the bag. Yeah, I know. I'm very boring. She yawns when I tell her off. I'm very boring. This little pile here, I paid... 50p each for these two, so two for the quid, and they are Vlogmas props. So if you've been watching Vlogmas, you may have seen these by now, because this one goes up in about eight days' time, so you may have seen these pop up in Vlogmas by now. Reindeer ears and a Christmas tree. And then three for a pound, I've got a little... This was given away free with Comfort Pure Fabric Softener, so a little comforter. No idea of the value on that one. Not popping up easily and sold, so no idea. Possibly nothing at all, but three for a pound. So there was this and this dish. Now this is a Lord Nelson pottery, but I think it would have had a lid. I think it's a terrine dish that would have had a lid. Obviously it made quite a nice serving dish anyway, but I suspect it would have originally had a lid. I'm not sure though, because it's got the, because it's got the lips to hold it by. Perhaps it wouldn't, perhaps it is just a serving dish, but that was in three for a pound along with this Queen's Your Ladyship mug. Her ladyship, I beg your pardon. So three for a quid on those. I paid one pound for a Marks and Spencer Harry Potter scarf. This would have been part of a three part, part set originally. It would have come with hat and gloves, but the little gentleman only had the scarf. So pound for that one. I paid two pound for a wasgidge for Tammy. She likes these um, wasgidge jigsaw puzzles. It's the ones where the picture on the puzzle isn't what you're actually gonna get. It is pre-owned, she won't mind. She'd be quite happy with that. Bit of arthritis playing up here now. Falling apart I am. There's a gentleman selling bags of dog treats, three for pounds. So we've got training bites with chicken and brown rice. They sound tempting, don't they? And these are healthy alternative to rawhide. And they're mini bones. And Molly's here going, aha, I knew if I waited long enough, something would happen. It was worth waiting, wasn't it, chicks? I can hear Buddy snoring in the hallway. I'm not going to wake him up. But I will take one down for him in a minute. And Kai's downstairs. He'll get one too for a quid on those. It's going to be a short haul video because we're five minutes in, nearly done. However, we are getting on to the good stuff. These three items here at the front, I paid seven pounds for the three. This was Steve the car boot guy. I didn't see Steve this morning. I just paid his, I don't know if it's missus or his sister. I never know. Sarah, anyway. It's a Laura Ashley home spotty mug. Fairly sure I've had one of these recently in pink. It looks very familiar. So one Laura Ashley home polka dot mug. One John Lewis Mincer in unused condition inside the box. No idea how much this would have sold for originally. But it's brand new and unused in the box. 
and then these and these are the little woohoo that was worth grabbing I didn't know they were worth grabbing at the time and I can't sit here and take credit for my knowledge on this because the only reason I picked them up was because they said Delft on the back and I was like oh Delft pottery always worth picking up I knew that much but I didn't know that these would be quite as good as they are these are Delft Flaes Cossonne I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong because I haven't got a Dutch accent anywhere in me can't bring out a Dutch accent no matter how hard I try. Porcelain Flaes Cloisonne tiles, they are. Each one sells for between 30 to 60 pounds. So they're just the kind of tiles that you hang on the wall. They're not even the same size. I thought they were matching sizes when I picked them up, but they're not. One is Scheveningen, Shev I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrongly as well. And the other one has nothing written on the back, just the word Delft. Just says Delft on it. But yeah, £45 approximately, between £30 and £60 each, so £45 to call it the average. That is today's whoopity doo -dah moment, and I'm so pleased with them that I'm even going to wrap them some newspaper before I put them in the bag, because it's not unheard of for me to bring stuff home and break it before it gets lifted. Not unheard of at all. So we'll show a little bit of common, a little bit of common sense there, and wrap them up before we put them away before they go into the into the corner of the death pile and then last but by no means least is this i spotted this this during a couple of weeks ago i got a load of stuff for tempe it was at the very end of the video and there were four franco georgie plates quadrifoglio plates uh, i've said at the time i was very pleased with them i've sold all four of those i took 12 pound each on the ones that weren't crazed so i sold three for 36 pound to one buyer and then I listed the crazed one up at 6 99 and that sold as well. So 40p into £43 on those plates. I've got static in my hair. So that was a very nice buy. And this, it was a house clearance guy and he doesn't care how much it's worth. I've said to him before now, that's worth more than that. He's like, I don't care. He does everything 10p. Today, I got a ready cut rug for 10p. He said to me, I don't know if it's all there. I said, I don't care for 10p. So... There is your, oh god, that's it's very, very vintage. There's your rug canvas, that's really stiff. It's going to make quite an unpleasant rug. And there's another bit, does it make two rug, rugs maybe? Comes with a guarantee. I should imagine the guarantee is somewhat is expired now, wouldn't you? Lord knows how old this is. Making a circular, semi-circular hexagonal oval rug instructions, the ABC of rug making. Lots of um, reorder forms for when you lose bits of your wool. It's so very vintage, even to look at it, even the even the paperwork that comes with it is just so very, very vintage. Look, a pre-stamped and addressed envelope, pre-paid envelope, who sees them anymore? It's absolutely lovely to see it, but I think it is probably all there. Not 100% sure, but I think it probably is because it there doesn't seem to be a gap in the box. What's that? That's the rug hook. So I think it's probably all there, even though he said he wasn't sure. Is this a contents list? No, that's a price list to order new wool. Yeah, it doesn't say how much of it I should have, so I can't be sure that it's all there, but there's not a gap. You can see that there's a piece of piece of stuffing in the side of the box to fill up the gap that would have been there in the first place. So just in case you've never seen rug wool, if you see it at a car boot sale, it's always worth picking up. It looks like this. These are pre-cut lengths. Each piece is this wide. Pre cut and that's a wool. I won't pull one out because once you pull one out, they all come out. And basically, it's for latch hooking a rug. You, you pop your, your hook through the canvas, you pull your rug, your wool through, you tie it. My gran used to make it, my great granny used to make latch hook rugs all the time. In fact, I've no idea what happened to hers, but they'd be worth having now if they were still around. 10p! 10p! I've just, I, I don't even know what I might get for it. Let me have a quick look. I've sold rug stuff before which is why i knew it was worth picking up more, mine is more vintage than the ones i can see on the screen this one there that sold for 180 pounds it was called twilight i don't think mine's called twilight i don't know if mine's even got a name i don't know i don't know what i might get for it but i do know that it's going to be a dance site more than 10p i'm looking at upwards of upwards of 80 to 100 pounds maybe i couldn't be more pleased i couldn't be more pleased in fact, I think I may have paid about 13p because I only had a pound coin. He was scrabbling around for change and I went, whatever, mate, it's fine. So I think I may, might have paid as much as 13p. Bingo. That's today's little bingo item. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry they're short, but they're going to be short when the smalls, when the smalls are haul. 
they're going to be short when the holes are small. <laughs> I will be back next week and next week will be the last one of the car boot for a couple of weeks because the car boot will be closed over Christmas. So next week for me is the 18th, I think. Yeah, 18th. And then they're closed on the 25th, they're closed on the 1st and they're open again on the 8th. So there'll be two weeks when there is no car boot haul, but there may be something else. Watch the space. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.